Two channel versus home theater. This question comes from Edmund Daniel in London, Ontario. Paul, you answered a question previously. <laughs> uh oh. That's, you know, I tell you what, the problem of doing these videos is they are, um, well, they're, they're forever, right? People watch this and go, hey, you said a little, oh boy. Yeah, I mean, normally in the conversation, people, didn't you say, there's no record of it. On these YouTube videos, there's a record of everything, so I gotta watch what I say, so. <laughs> Hope I didn't say anything to, anyway, you said previously, uh, the benefits of having a dedicated and separate audio versus home theater room. Uh, your choices would personally make it if you had just, what would your uh, choices be if you just had to have one room for both? Where would you make the compromises and what components would you include in the setup to put emphasis on two channel music, but also uh, incorporate the ability for multi-channel home theater, thanks. Well, The question then is, if, if I had to just have one uh, room and I, for some reason, decided that I wanted both a home theater and a two-channel, what would I do? Well, first off, I, I wouldn't do it. I, I just wouldn't do it. So I can only guess, and, and I'll tell you why. I, I believe that there's too many screens in the world that two channel audio, uh, this, this is an idea my son Lon uh, first presented to me and I thought about it and I thought, you know, damn it, he's right. There, there's, we, look at, we look at screens all day long, in the car, on our phone, and in our desktops. I mean, we're kind of glued to these things, our whole, beings are, are consumed with, with stuff. And it's, it's not like it used to be where we would go out to live concerts, we would read books, we would do this and that. And I'm not saying that's a better time because I don't believe that. I, I, I am a lover of change and a believer in progress and moving forward. I like being in the now and I don't wish for the past. I don't go, oh, it was so nice back then, you know. Eh. Yeah, it wasn't. It was just the same as it is today. It's just different. And I'm okay with that. But I, I do think that personally, and I believe this to be true for a number of us also, that we need a respite. We need a way to get away from our screens and get into the magic of music. Now, you can put a set of headphones on, close your eyes and go. And that's, and that's pretty cool. And there is something to that, but it's not a two channel experience. If you, and we'll talk about this more later. If you've ever put headphones on, <clears throat> you notice how the sound is inside your head? Now that might sound obvious. You got two ears, you got cams over your ears or buds coming out of them and it plays. Well, of course the music should come from inside your head, right? No, not really. Because as I'm sitting here and I listen around to the noises and what's happening, it's not inside my head, it's outside here. I recognize sound as being all around me. And in a two-channel audio system, the same is true. I hear sound outside my head. Now there's a very specific reason why we hear the illusion of sound inside our head when we listen to headphones and we don't on speakers, and that's something we can talk about later, but it, it, it is kind of interesting. Um, and it, it has to do a lot with the, uh, how our brains interpret sound and the illusion of sound. So I, I think I'm getting off, off course. In fact, I don't think I'm getting off course. There's no question I'm getting off course. <laughs> Sorry about that. The idea of a two-channel audio system to me is something that is unique something that the world needs more of. And when we install a two-channel audio system and just sit down and listen, which is something we rarely get a chance to do, there's a magic to it that I don't want to give up. So, 
If I had a choice, I would just build a two-channel audio system and be done with it. Now, can I put myself in the position of somebody who doesn't think like me? Sure. And if I had only one room, and if my goal was to have a bit of both, then I would just do a standard setup. I would take a pair of decent sounding, really good two-channel floor standing loudspeakers, if I can afford them, set them up away from the wall in a decent two-channel setup so I get imaging, I get everything I want. Then I would put a screen on the wall in this mythical room with the center channel and a couple of speakers behind and, and a couple of subs so that it's based around a two-channel listening experience where I can turn off the damn screen and I can turn off the rear channels and I can ignore the center and listen to a good two-channel experience. But then when I want to turn on my television, bingo, there it is. Most of the sound comes out of the center channel, some out of the rears, very little out of the left and right. But, uh, and, and that's the compromise that I would make between a two-channel and a home theater. I hope that helps. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.